Hello, this is Joshua from tinyhousebasics.com, and this is the 24-foot Rubicon Tiny House Tour. Starting off with the trailer, it is a 24-foot by 98-inch wide, 14,000-pound capacity Tiny House Basics Tiny House Trailer. This trailer has 4-inch drop axles and flush cross members. To request a quote for your own Tiny House Trailer, please go to our website at tinyhousebasics.com. Starting with the exterior of the tiny house, all of the siding is LP Smart Side. It is 8 inches by 3 8 inch lap siding. It is painted in Amherst Gray from Benjamin Moore. And the color for the trim is Ultra White by Sherwin Williams. All of the exterior windows are from Milgard. They are in dark bronze and they're from the Style Line series. We have a mix of some double hung windows and some awning windows. We also have a special egress window in the master loft. And entering into the tiny house, we have six foot wide French doors, also from Milgard. Right in this clip here, we're finishing getting the Rubicon backed up into its new parking spot. Then we'll go ahead and take you on the inside. On the interior of the Rubicon tiny house, for insulation, we used a closed cell spray foam for a factor of R21 for really efficient uh, preservation of heat and cooling throughout the seasons. The walls are covered with a half inch sanded ply. We glued and nailed all the panels and painted for a clean smooth finish to resemble that of drywall. Looking towards the kitchen on the right hand side you can see we have two large double hung windows that are above a built-in couch. This couch serves dual purposes. It covers the wheel wells, provides some storage, and it also provides a seating area for the living room. Dividing the kitchen from the living room, we have this island that has plenty of storage for kitchen tools and small appliances. It also has a nice little bar that extends into the space and provides a bar style eating area. Going into the kitchen, we have plenty of lighting with the overhead LED strips. We have a small apartment style fridge. We have a nice custom cabinet set up with the large single basin sink. We have maple butcher block countertops and a nice and efficient 18 inch Summit branded propane range. Going back into the living room, you can see with all these windows, we have a lot of natural light. Past the ladder, we have a large area to the right underneath the double hung windows for a full size couch. Going into the bathroom, we have a pocket door that goes inside the wall. We also have a full 36 inch corner shower. Next to the shower, we have another large double hung window to bring in lots of natural light and aid in a lot of extra ventilation. Across from the shower, we have an actual flushing toilet, which goes right into the standard plumbing system. And we have a small 15 inch vanity and sink from Ikea. Now let's climb the ladder into the master loft. The master loft is nine feet long with LED strips running on both sides of the ceiling the full length. There is two sets of unique windows in the master loft. On the right side, we have special awning windows. And on the left side, we have special egress windows for an emergency escape. These windows are also required for RV certification on all tiny house builds. The Rubicon Tiny House has a split style roof. We have a steep gable over the living room and bathroom, and then we have a very low sloping dormer section over the loft for increased headroom. Over the bathroom, we have a small four foot storage loft. You know, for like storing stuff. 
We hope you enjoyed this tour of the Rubicon Tiny House. This was built on a 24 foot long by 98 inch wide Tiny House Basics Tiny House Trailer. We build over 450 Tiny House Trailer Foundations every year for DIYs and builders all across the country and Canada. To request a free quote, go to our website at tinyhousebasics.com. You could also find out some more information about our shells and our full builds on our website as well. So start your research off on the right foot and go to our website at tinyhousebasics.com.